waiting for the government to provide them with land. They've now invaded this vast land along the N8 road. Residents say they have on previous occasions seen people from outside of Tabanchu being allocated sites. They say the occupation of land is a drastic action that shows how much they need the land. We have been going back and forth to the department trying to get on the list. But the list is taking too long and other people are placed before us. So we decided the list will find us here. It has happened that you put your name down, but later you find that other people from other towns are on that list or people who registered after us. That's why we are taking the land. I'm here because I needed a space, a, a place to live. I needed a site. It's been a while since I've registered. Now I, I registered in 2003. A community activist says everyone who had identified a site will be placed on a list that will be given to the Department of Housing in the Mangaung Metro. We are now taking names of everyone here so that when the Department of Housing in the municipality comes, it will know who is on the list. We do not want people who already have sites to occupy space that someone else could take. The EFF in Mangaung says what the residents are doing is the expropriation of land. The party says it supports the action of the community. As the EFF, we are now putting our first cardinal pillar, which is the expropriation of land without compensation. Our people don't have land, and land is dignity. And now, if you can see behind us here, it is people from uh, age 40 downwards. Youth needs land. And land is everything. And without land, we are nothing. Barolongbo Seleka chief has condemned the illegal land occupation in Tabanchu and described it as detestable. Chief Rabui Lelu Moroka says her office, together with the traditional council, is working tirelessly with all relevant stakeholders to resolve the situation. This includes the occupiers, the municipality, government and the police. The land in front of the Barulung cultural village was also invaded last year. Kamakhelo Siekwi, SABC News, Tamanchu.